Hi everyone, my name is Vandachi Ganzo and I'm the CEO and founder of Vandachi's Vault. Today, I wanted to go over our astrological terms. Now the first term I'm gonna be going over is Chiron. And Chiron basically represents your deepest pain. It's where you feel inadequate. It's your personal sound. It's where you overcompensate and how you can heal others. Now let's talk about your ascending rising sign. Basically, it's your first house. So your first house is how you first come across to people. It's your facial expressions, your mannerisms, your appearance, and how you initially approach things. It's your view on life. Now your second house basically represents your self-esteem. It represents your resources and possessions, your wealth, your income, your talents, values, and morales. Your third house basically represents your observation and your analysis skills. It represents your thinking skills, your basic education, your curiosity, short trips, your local community, and neighborhood. Now let's talk about something different called the Imam Coeli. It's abbreviated as IC, and this is your fourth house. It's Latin for bottom of the sky. So basically your fourth house represents your home, your family, your traditions, your history, where you feel the most comfortable and the most private part of your personality. Now let's talk about the fifth house. And the fifth house represents your self-expression, your creativity, your recreation, your drama, your art, your writing, your romance, your dating life, your children, and your attitude towards them. Now let's go over the sixth house. The sixth house basically represents how you serve others. It represents your workplace. The sixth house basically represents your everyday routine, small pets, your health, and how you maintain it, your organization, and your schedule. Now let's talk about the seventh house. The seventh house, AKA the descendant, represents your one-on-one -on -one partnerships. It's the traits and the characteristics you seek in others. And that also includes business partnerships, marriage, open enemies, competitors, and roommates. Now let's talk about the eighth house. The eighth house is a representation of intimacy, transformation. It's how you let certain parts of yourself die or fade away. It is also how you reform, how you restore, and the give and take of control. Now your ninth house represents the higher truth. It also represents higher education, traveling to foreign lands, learning about new cultures, learning about new ways of life, enlightenment, and looking at the bigger picture. Now, let's go over your medium coli, AKA your midheaven, AKA your 10th house. So in Latin, medium coeli means middle of the sky. It's basically your aspirations in life. It's your goals, it's your career, it's who you want to be. It's your reputation and what the public views you as. Now let's go over the meaning of what your 11th house is. So your 11th house represents your hopes and dreams, your friends and acquaintances, how you network. It basically represents how you are a humanitarian. It reflects your concerns, philanthropy, and the ideals you seek to live by. Now last but not least is your 12th house. So your 12th house represents your secret motives, your hidden agendas. Basically your 12th house represents your self-sacrifice. It reflects your codependence. Also, it reflects how you serve others. It reflects how you heal. It also reflects your hidden knowledge, your hidden personality, and your hidden spirituality. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to watch other videos like this one, please go to my website, www.bondeci.com.